Yo, tapping in real quick for this UFC fight night in Denver. Rose Nama Yunus versus Tracy Cortez. In this video right here, we just gonna take one final look at uh, Cody Brundage versus Abdul Razak Al Hassan. You know what I mean? Let's talk about it real quick, man. I said it before, I know Cody Brundage's run inside the UFC has not been good at all whatsoever. It has been absolute shit. You understand what I'm saying to you? We're on the other side, Abdul Razak Al Hassan's run has been a little bit better, you know, inside the UFC. But with that being said, man, let's let's talk about these resumes, let's talk about these wins, let's talk about these losses, because nothing about Abdul Razak Al Hassan moves me or impresses me in any way, shape, form, or fashion. You understand what I'm saying to you? His, men, his win over Claudio Ribeiro, miss me with that. Fuck out of here with that. And Claudio's like, what, two and three inside the UFC? Alessio, if he's even still in the UFC, which I don't believe he is, but when he was, his run was four and seven inside the UFC. You understand what I'm saying to you? The boy Hamasi, or however you say his name, that he fought twice, you feel me? That motherfucker's 0 and four inside the UFC, and Charles Ward, or whatever his name is, was 0 and two inside the UFC. There is... Nothing impressive about any of those wins that Abdul Razak Al Hassan has inside the UFC. His most impressive and most notable win to date on his whole entire resume is that over Nico Price. And that's a good win in my personal opinion. I fuck with Nico Price. You understand what I'm saying to you? So he does hold that. Now on the other side of things, Cody Brundage, like I said, that run, that run has not been good at all. But I am not mad at him for his uh, loss to Bo Nickel. And I do not fault him for his loss to Hadolfo Vieira. And I'm not really that mad at him for his loss to Mikal. You understand what I'm saying to you? I feel like all three of those individuals will hand a loss to uh, Abdul Razak Al Hassan. You know, the same. You understand what I'm saying to you? One thing has nothing to do with the other, but even the wins on his resume inside the UFC. You know what I'm saying? Zach Reese hasn't been in the UFC, you know, for long. Two and uh, one inside the UFC. Jacob Malcolm, I believe he's, uh, what? Where's he at? Four and three inside the UFC. You understand what I'm saying to you? But, you know, those wins and those losses on Cody Brundage's resume, just to me, are more respectable than that of the ones on uh, Abdul Razak Al Hassan's resume. And with that being said, Cody Brundage's wrestling is good enough to get this young man to the ground. And I do believe that once he gets him to the ground, he may not get up, man. Cody works from the top. You understand what I'm saying to you? He works for the finish. He searches for the submission or he works for the finish via ground and pound from top position. You understand what I'm saying to you? And I just don't see Abdul Razak Al Hassan being able to stop the takedowns. And I don't think Cody's gonna need too many of them. And I feel like he's gonna finish this one inside the distance via submission or via ground and pound, KO, TKO, you know, from top position. You understand what I'm saying to you? Abdul Razak Al Hazan possesses the ability, you know, that flash knockout power, that ability to disconnect somebody from their consciousness if he catches them clean at any given time in a fight. You understand what I'm saying to you? But I know that, just like you know that, just like Cody knows that. You understand what I'm saying? And I feel like Cody's just not going to give him the opportunity to land that clean shot. So this is why I'm on Cody Brundage over Abdul Razak Al Hassan. Neither one of these motherfuckers, you know, are great or spectacular in any way, shape, form, or fashion in any department, in my personal opinion. And if this fight was to stay on the feet for 15 minutes, it probably wouldn't go the distance because Abdul Razak Al Hassan would probably clip Cody and get him to fuck up out of there via KO TKO. You understand what I'm saying to you? And if Cody survived, then he would get the victory via unanimous decision. But Cody knows this, man. He also knows that Abdul Razak Al Hassan is uncomfortable off his back and on the ground and he's going to put him there He's going to put him where he doesn't want to be where he's uncomfortable And he's going to get him up out of there inside the distance in my personal opinion And this is why I'm on Cody Brundage over Abdul Razak Al Hassan